right? It's finally the time of my studio office teleparment tour here in Seoul. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight to the tour first. And at the end, I'm just gonna explain a bit like the, how much it is and all the like maintenance fees and all of that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, today is perfect. Weather is amazing. It's so sunny. It's like, it's so nice. It's so nice. This is like the view just when you go in, basically. Um, but yeah, let's start the tour. Okay, so the first thing that you see when you come in is all my magnets on the door. Uh, the thing is, this is the only magnetic area in this apartment, so I had to put my magnets here, but I think it looks quite cute. Uh, some expos that I went to, some travel magnets, some other random magnets. Uh, really cute. Then there's this huge mirror, like it's really, 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 really huge. Um, that's why I was debating if I should take the old one or not, but actually I took it. But there's so many mirrors in these apartments, you will see. Uh, but yeah, this huge uh, mirror, and then this is the entrance, it's quite big, uh, to be honest, and these shoes don't fit anywhere else, so they are here, but they don't bother me that much, and then here is the shoe storage, uh, which is quite full, not gonna lie, but yeah, this is the shoe storage where I have all my shoes, and then here I have more like my workout shoes and some other slippers, my vacuum cleaner, uh, my pilates, thingy and then here i also leave like some other like umbrellas some other things and here i just have like bags and extra stuff that i need for the house it's quite nice to be honest it's quite quite nice um and then let's i think it's, it should be better to go first to the toilet uh, i have my old rack here also so let's go to the toilet the toilet as you can see compared to the other one is way smaller but to be honest i don't need more than this it has so much storage like this apartment in general has a lot of storage uh but it also has like a separate shower like a separate shower like oh my god well and a be dead guy a be dead amazing uh but yeah the shower is not completely uh waterproof let's say so i wet a bit like the floor in this area but to be honest the rest is not wet so it's amazing like it's an upgrade and it also has like this that i never actually um use but yeah this is my filter i have my shampoos and everything then here you can hang um your towels and then as you can see here so, so the only problem is that when you go in you need to like close the door to wash your hands but i mean it's not a big deal there's like storage here all around here then another mirror here and all of this is also storage uh where i use all my cleaning supplies to be honest it's like but it's so useful like so, so much storage and then this obviously is also storage and this is also more storage it's not even full so imagine how much storage is there and and yeah guys the video a fantasy it's a fantasy it's warm when you sit, like it's amazing. Then right in front of the toilet, there is the fridge, which is like built in, so it looks really nice. Um, I don't have much because I've been uh, most of my days out, but but yeah, it's really really big, so I can put a lot of things. And same with the the the, the freezer. It's so big, it's so nice. I have so much veggies and I don't know frozen things. It's amazing. I, I just love it. Then here is like the induction. There are like two uh, and the washing machine. It's included on the kitchen because like this is the kitchen. But yeah, and um, here you can put like a lot of like utensils. I have here also the, how you call that? Like kitchen cloth? I don't know. Some mugs. Um... I invested on this one, well, no, I didn't invest on it, my boyfriend invested on it, and actually it's really, really useful. He was not using it anymore, so he gave it to me, and I love it, so I don't use plastic that much and everything. And then let me show you how much storage is in this kitchen. Obviously, this is nothing, because it's like the, you know, the thingy, the smoke thingy. But there's a storage here. There's more storage here, which I have like my, actually my, my laundry, so I'm not going to show you that. 
there's more storage here where I have like some clothes then here I have like all my dishes and other things like that here is really nice you can like pluck some things and look at this guys look at this at night it's so nice um then here i have like my thing from japan but i don't know where to put it so i just put it here it's really cute and then what else and here i have more uh more food things that i use more than every day the gym beam i don't use every day but it, it fit here so i just leave it here and <clears throat> Then there is this table that you can extend. So if you don't want to buy a table, you can just use this. It, it, it goes more far than this. I want to do it now, but um, it's really useful. And then here I have all my trash under the sink. And here, guys, there's more storage, like more storage, like food and everything like that. So basically it's like, yeah, more food, food, food and Tupperware and all of that. Then the next section is the, I call it the makeup zone, basically, where I do my makeup. And it also has a light. Amazing. I have all my makeup here with this mirror. I bought this mirror in Daiso, really cheap. Um, and here I have all my um, jewelry. And here I have also more makeup. So it's so convenient. And then this was a rack that I had that I didn't know where to put it. So I just put it on top of the stool. And it looked really cute, I think. And under here, guys, there's more storage that I will show you. Where I keep more like my nails, my medicines, my gold thingies. So it's really nice. Like the storage, I cannot complain um, at all, guys. Then just in front of the kitchen, there's this area. Um, I put my microwave here because the girl before also had the microwave there and actually it fits really nicely so I put mine here too. Here I just have like some like decor, here is a bit like the same, there is also the Wi-Fi thingy so I just try to blend it in a bit and here I have my sunglasses, some of my like notebooks, headphones, hats, you know, a bit of like everything but I mean like you can use so much space for storage. Now I have more like decor, but if in the future I need more storage, I will use it as more storage, which it kind of is storage, but you know, this area is like random things that I put there. Then the funny thing is that the the aircon is here hidden. Um, but yeah, I mean, at least you don't see it. And under here, there's more storage which I have books and I have like, you know, like random things, my cameras, I don't know, like no complaints for this storage. And here there's a closet, my first closet where I keep all my bottoms, let's, yeah, my, my, my bottoms. And then here they have my floor table that now it's a bit inconvenient to leave it all always in the floor. So I only take it out if I wanna be sitting on the floor. Um, then I have some like gym clothes, summer clothes, extra clothes, sheets, bed stuff. Um, yeah, it's quite deep also, like the, this one is also like really deep. And on top, there's more storage where I have my towels and my bag that I used to go every week to Dejon. And it's actually really deep also, so on the back I have more stuff. And then here is the other mirror that was from my old apartment. Um, and at first I wanted to leave it, but now it looks kind of okay. Um, so yeah, I just kept it and I think I'm going to keep it for now. I tried to sell it, but then I was like, mm, you know what? I will keep it. Then here I have my table with my two chairs. The cables, look, it's hard to fix that. So they're going to be there. I already had this chair from the other apartment that I bought in orange. And I feel like it suits this apartment so much. It was like perfect for this apartment uh, because when I saw that it had like all the orange details and as you can see in the kitchen and everywhere, at first I was a bit like, mm. but then when I came in, it doesn't feel that orange to be honest. It feels quite nice. And me having this combo of colors and already the chair, I was like, it's perfect for me. But yeah, my two chairs, my laptop and my things, uh, the um, the lamp, and then I just bought recently um, this stall 
that is a kids stall and i use it as a side table it's really cute my plant let me center it it's giving me a bit of talk oh, one second guys okay um this is one of the things that i bought for this apartment like almost everything i already had from the old one i just bought this one and i think this right I know in the mirror, but some small things. I didn't buy any furniture for this apartment besides the yellow store. Uh, I made this myself, kind of. So uh, I just took some that I liked and I tried to like, you know, like print them or some others. I copied them because it was like bad quality, but yeah, it was cheaper than just buying posters. Then this is the bed, nothing special, same as the other one. And the rug is same as the other apartment. And then in this area, I have like... In my other apartment, I have it, I had it in my toilet, in my bathroom, but now it's like, I didn't know where to put it and I didn't want to just to put it inside of like a closet because it takes up a space. So it's a bit of extra storage. And then I have like this um, decor next to the window to make it a bit cuter. And the last area in the apartment is the other closet, which is actually quite big with all my porridge. And here I have, all my tops all my tops and jackets and things like that here i have all my handbags and uh belts up there i have some extra other clothes and i'm a bit short so they are not well put there but because i could not reach and yeah i don't know and then on the back there's one of my uh big bags like the luggage and then here there are two big like drawers it's like underwear and then here is like PJs and home clothes. And then last is the boiler room. Uh, I put this hoodie here because I thought it would look cute. I don't know. It, it looks cute and less empty this area with also this poster. But to open, I think I need to take it out. One second. But basically... Okay, I didn't know how to open that. But basically, I have my other luggages. And inside the, other, the luggages, there's more luggages. So, um, yeah, honestly, nothing special. But it's good for extra storage. And let me... How I close? I never know how to close this, no. Is it? No. Well... Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. Hey, okay, guys, this is the apartment. Small, but complete. A full of a storage. New clean i just love it okay guys so this is my office style here in seoul uh i think it's like really really nice like the other place was also okay like the location was the best uh of it and it was also kind of big but the darkness and the humidity was like getting to me i kind of like hit it at this point um so now i'm really happy here that i have all this light and it's also like new and clean it's quite high also uh and i can open the window i get fresh air it's like it's way better it's way better and it's also kind of silent i cannot hear much my neighbors which is appreciated because before anyone walking or talking or like i could not hear like the next to me but everything resonated on the hallway so even if you were talking in inside of your home you get you could hear it through the door and the hallway like everyone so and, and also the landlord was living on top of me so that didn't make it that much uncomfortable like at first it was okay but after two years it was time to move and for the better because actually this apartment is cheaper than my other one room to be honest and quality is completely different uh i guess the one of the differences is that the area <laughs> is more far like the other one was like in the middle of Hongdae, like in the middle middle of Hongdae. so of course it's gonna be more expensive and they take advantage of it but this one is not that far like at first i was a bit taken back because of the location because i was used to living like in a really 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 um centric area everything was there everything was convenient which also was a bit bad because i was getting used to just staying in that area because i could walk it and everything was there and my friends would go there because also there were many things to go there so i needed i didn't need to move much 
so that was bad you know because i was not exploring the city again and like that i grew to move again and i i don't mind going somewhere else to be my friends now uh the only thing is that university takes me like the thing is by subway it's just like half an hour but then i have to walk if i don't want to ch change again so it's like maybe like 40 minutes 45 minutes but i mean that is ending soon so i don't i don't really mind it uh it just hold on a few weeks and it's gonna be done uh but yeah i just like this area a lot i'm not gonna say where it's just like under the river but uh, i really like the area it's more local there's like barely no foreigners but it's like full of like places to eat and there's everything honestly obviously if you want to go to like really cute cafes really cute places like there's some but in general you need to move but the my, my apartment is like in front of the station so um it takes me nothing to go to the station i can control when the subway comes it's like really convenient and there are so many buses so so many so I really think it's really convenient. I have like no complaints at all. And also have one of my friends that is living in this building with me because when we, actually both of us had to move at similar times. She kind of moved like two, three weeks before me. Uh, but yeah, she lives like a uh, floor under me. And then I have another friend that is my neighbor. So that's amazing. Well, it's Adriana, some of you might know her already. Uh, she lives in a building like really next to me. So it was one of the reasons, again, that I chose this area compared to other areas because all the areas that I was checking for office tells were farther. Another area was Kazan that I explained this in like, I think the first vlog that I moved, I'm not sure now. But uh, that area for me felt a bit empty. And then knowing that my friends, one was already here and one was going to move here, was like, I rather move to an area where at least I can hang out with my friends easily rather than an area that I feel already is empty, be alone there and then I have always to move if I want to meet my friends uh, so that's one of the reasons, well, several of the reasons why I move here and then compared to other areas, now this area is kind of um, really affordable like I'm not going to say it's cheap but it's really affordable compared to this kind of apartments in other areas in Seoul because the number of hotels are way smaller and with less storage more near the center of the city obviously and they're more expensive but this one actually just the rent is 500,000 won which is 350 euros in dollars it's similar it's not that different I think nowadays uh, so that's quite cheap for living in Seoul uh, in this kind of buildings where you have everything you can like there's a, a person in the parking that gets all the packages that does the recycling there's people cleaning every day there's a woman that works here if you have any problem uh it's like there's everything and they it's really clear like i don't know it's it's really well taken care of uh the conditions are really nice so for the price i think it's quite cheap um which i love i mean i'm not gonna complain for it to be more expensive i just love it then i need to add the quality which is the expenses and in the quality i have everything included like internet water gas building expenses and all of that except electricity too did i say gas no the gas is outside i don't know if i said it but it's like the quality is internet water electricity and the expenses of the building, elevator, cleaning, people work here. And that can get depends on the month because now it's winter. So the, well, today it's kind of warm, now I'm a bit hot, but at night still it's cold then because it's a high building that faces south. Actually, I didn't say that, that's why it's so sunny right now. Um, uh, it's gonna be more expensive, the gas basically because of the heater, but in general, it can get maximum to up to 500 uh, euros a month. I think it's like the maximum, they told me the maximum would be 620,000 won, uh, which is like 500 euros with everything. So the quality is like, quality and gas is like 120,000, which doesn't get to 100 euros. So maybe it's less than 500. Uh, I need to check that because for now I only got 
half of the quality because now we're in the beginning of March when I'm filming this um, and I got my quality by the end of February but it was only for January and I was only here like half of the month so I'm not exactly sure but I think it's gonna be like 120,000 won which doesn't get to 100 euros I think it's like 90 euros 80 something 90 euros so maximum is gonna get to 500 euros to live in Seoul alone in these conditions of course it's a small but in Korea everything is a small so it's not like um I try to find a bigger place for me this is just more than enough uh I live alone so I don't need I really don't need more it's really it's really easy to clean it's, I don't know it's comfortable and I'm a really organized person so for me it's not a big deal to just like when I get home put my clothes in the closet uh put my bag in the closet you know for me it's not a big deal to keep it clean and don't keep it stuffy uh but this oh and deposit was five million ones that I forgot to say that my deposit is the same as the other building so but so you can compare the other building uh the other apartment was like six I was now paying six 80,000 uh, when I moved in it was 650 after renewing it was 680 and if I had renewed now it would be 720 or 730 without expenses all the expenses were outside the quality because this had already like the quality included but all these expenses were outside the quality so let's say I was paying when I left was 680 and then it would be like internet not included gas not included water not included heater electricity not included so all of that would maybe be like up to like seven fifty thousand. and if i had renewed it would be almost like eight hundred thousand one compared to here that it's gonna be like six hundred thousand maximum six twenty thousand just for the light and the views because i have a mountain on front like a mountain um it's amazing it's i just I, I i don't trade it for the old one at all obviously the other day i went out with some friends um and also like my boyfriend came but we went out all night and we had to wait for the subway and come back that was kind of hard also i'm getting old which is another reason but yeah i don't know it's like besides that everything is really really convenient um so yeah i'm really happy here and I just wanted to show that it's also possible to find a cheaper place here in Seoul. Obviously, the deposit is huge. Like, there's nothing to do with the deposit. Uh, you can find cheaper deposits, obviously, but for this kind of apartment, you need to be aware that deposits are up to 5 million or 10 million. Uh, it's money. It's money. But, like, for me, 10 million was too much, but 5 million was inside my, like, range because it's the same that I paid in the old apartment so I didn't need to like add more money to be honest uh but yeah I just hope you like this video if you have any questions you can just like ask me down below in the comments and I will see you these days in my vlogs around so Dejon I'm a bit all over the place uh but yeah thank you for watching bye bye